I mean, depending on the severity, sometimes you, you, you leave your present and, and you are just somewhere else. It's happened to me more times than I can count. Back now at 1030, we hear from a Bakersfield Army veteran who gave his all to his country. And now his return home meant the beginning of a new battle. June is Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Awareness Month, or PTSD. And tonight we're taking a look at some of the signs and who it can affect. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Pronian spoke with a veteran who shared his story of trauma. Mary? Well, Michael and Rochelle, it takes one traumatic scene to cause negative effects on a person. Several veterans across the county can relate to the word PTSD, including one person we spoke with here in Bakersfield. When it comes to PTSD, it's no joke that some things are hard to forget and let go of. Going through trauma is a common thing many people experience. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, also known as NAMI, around 60% of men and 50% of women experience at least one traumatic event in their lifetime. And from that large portion of people, a small part will develop PTSD. NAMI said symptoms include avoidance, for example, staying away from certain places that remind you of the event. Another can be cognitive and mood symptoms, the feeling of guilt, numbness, worry, and depression, as well as struggling to remember the trauma. And lastly, arousal symptoms, which includes being startled by something that resembles the trauma, such as trouble sleeping or anger. But a certain group of people here at home experience PTSD on another level. According to the California Department of Veterans Affairs, Kern County has a total of almost 50,000 veterans. Guy Anderson, a combat veteran I spoke with, has lived in Bakersfield his whole life before serving in Afghanistan. The kind of stuff, it's so surreal that, you know, it's something you see in movies, see in TV shows, and but you, you just, you never think about it being real life, right? Until it is. It's been a few years since he's returned back home, but his experiences haunt him until now. It all caused him to develop PTSD and says the trauma has slowed down life. On my last deployment, somebody had planted a uh, M67 frag grenade in one of our toilets. So that way when you sat down to use the restroom, you're done. One of the Blackwater truck guys just happened to find it and called it in and so EOD was able to dispose of it. Anderson's home was full of memories from the years he served. Pictures of his friends and medals he was honored with covered the wall, although looking at it can take him back to memory lane. When you're around all of that so much, it's just, it's, it's painful, you know? And then especially when you watch your best friends die. sucks. That's right, and if you or anyone you know experiences symptoms that can lead to PTSD, you can contact the helpline for National Alliance on Mental Illness down below. Reporting in studio, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.